There, YouTube. Uh, I just remembered another reason why I bought the the, uh, the uh, Bondix uh, liquid plastic welder. Because my John Deere hood is broken. I've tried super, or Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Super Glue, Loctite Super Glue, all kinds of crap, um, and nothing's held. So I'm going to try the Bondix today. Then i got to go do a couple yards um, through the woods and whatnot, so I'll see how it holds up. So first got to get off some crap that was on there. Now the, uh, the pieces in here are broke off too. I don't know if you can see me because I'm zoomed in. So I don't know how well it's going to hold, but we'll give her a shot. Let me hit a little sandpaper. inside. Put that there. I'm just going to try this repair on the outside. Um, if it holds, I'll take the hood off and do it on the inside, too. But I am going to uh, uh, feather it out a little bit here. I may have to open up the second tube. Right, here we go. Still a little sticky. It says if it's sticky, then you probably need a new battery, but I haven't used this light that much, so. And it's only supposed to be like three to four seconds of curing, but we'll see here. freaking thing is solid. All right, well, I'm gonna go mow a couple yards. We'll, uh, we'll see how it looks after that and go from there. All right, YouTube. So, uh, the day after I did this, um, I've done two lawns and some, uh, off-road, uh, wood, woods traveling, you know, bumpy trail traveling, and this stuff has held up freaking awesome. Um, there was a spot that I wasn't happy with right here, so I took my Dremel ground it down, and I'm going to uh, put a little more, do a little more Bondix welding on there. Um, but other than that, I was going to go from the inside also, but in order to do that, i got to crack the hood in half to get to that spot on the inside. I'm like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to do this. Um, 
I mean, that freaking thing is uh, rock solid. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm sure if anybody, you know, if you don't want to see the dullness from from hitting a little sandpaper, I'm sure you could, uh, you know, wet sand that right out of there, shine it back up. So, but I'm not real concerned about it. So let me do that. I'll be right back. I forgot my damn tripod. So <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I hit that up again once. Um, cured it. Now this is the point where every other thing I've tried has failed. You know, it hold together, you know, super glues and stuff. I mean, you couldn't pull this hard on it. Uh, but every time I go to open the hood, that's when that, that would fail. But you can see here, that's not doing anything. Can you see it? I mean, that's a good freaking... So, I definitely say that freaking... Bondix crap is pretty freaking awesome. Um, and, you know, I fixed my cell phone case with it a few weeks ago. And that son of a bitch is still holding like new. Of course, I, I broke the clip off it yesterday, so now i got to get a new one anyways. So, <laughs> but, uh, or a cell phone holster. But, I'd say, hell, for 20 bucks, you know, for the, for the, uh, for the Bondix thing, it's, uh, definitely, I would give it a shot, man. Because you know how, how freaking expensive these hoods are. I um, mean, like I say, you know, you could you could sand this down and stuff and, you know, finish it better, but I'm just leaving it like that. But I'll continue running it. If it does uh, let loose, um, you know, I'll, I'll update the video. But for now, like I say, I was running around yesterday, did two lawns, you know, pretty decent sized lawns and through the woods, all the bumpity stuff. So, and she held tight. So, all right there, bitches. See ya.